Recently, a lot of nonsense videos have appeared all over the intraweb claiming that Russia is deploying World War II era T-34 tanks to Ukraine. It is true that Russia has been upgrading and sending to Ukraine very old T-62 and T-55 tanks, designs dating from the 1950s, but the story of T-34s being sent is quite false. The footage of T-34s loaded aboard railway flat cars was actually shot a few years ago and shows some 30 T-34-85s travelling by train in Russia, the tanks having been purchased from Laos in Southeast Asia for use by Russia in military commemorative parades and for state-sponsored film work. The tanks being transported are still in Laotian army colours and markings. However, One Nation does have a very big force of T-34s, which may be kept ready for combat if needed. And that country is, no surprises there, North Korea. North Korea currently uses several homegrown tank designs. The Chonma Ho, about which very little is known. The Pokpung Ho, that appears to incorporate elements of the Soviet T-62 and 72, the Chinese Type 88, and the indigenous Chomon Ho main battle tanks, and the Songun 915 tank dating from 2009. Kim Jong-un also unveiled this Armata type tank recently, but nobody knows anything about it. It also has thousands of old T-54s and 55s, Type 59s, the Chinese version of the T-55, and the T-62M. But backing up the Cold War and modern main battle tanks is an astounding 200 or so T-34s, which by any stretch of the imagination is a very outdated and obsolete design for 2023. T-34s, a tank that became very famous in World War II on the Eastern Front, were used to spearhead the North Korean invasion of the South in 1950. But during the course of the Korean War, the nation lost almost all of its tanks. After the conflict, the Soviet Union gave North Korea batches of old World War II-era T-34s to re-equip its armoured forces. So by about 1960, North Korea had about a thousand T-34s in active service. In total, North Korea is believed to have received, over a 15 or 20 year period, some 1,800 T-34s. Being a self-sufficient nation, North Korea has been loath to throw these old tanks away. Even after receiving large numbers of T-54s, T-55s and Type 59s from the mid-1960s. Indeed, even in the 1970s, hundreds of T-34s continued to serve alongside modern tanks. In 1985, it was estimated that North Korea still had between 400 and 650 T-34s in army service. North Korean T-34s have been improved over the decades. They have locally produced all-steel tracks with new sprocket wheels. They have hull and turret slat armor mounts to increase protection against heat rounds and anti-tank guided missiles. Modern radio systems were fitted and the North Koreans have also developed a snorkel system for the T-34 to enable it to ford rivers. It is surmised that the hull machine gun has been upgraded, though the 85mm Soviet main gun remains unchanged. So why has North Korea hung on to so many antique tanks? Some probably serve in a training role. They are simple to operate and very simple to maintain. Many are kept in excellent condition, ready for reactivation in case of war. Not even the North Koreans are daft enough to expect T-34s to fight modern South Korean or US tanks. Rather, the old T-34s would probably be used to patrol behind the front line in the case of a North Korean invasion of the South, providing heavy escort firepower to convoys or during actions against resistance groups or enemy paratroopers. If the invasion came from the south into North Korea, then such tanks could be used as static defense positions, effectively pillboxes to help slow the invaders down while modern vehicles engage the enemy armor. In 2012, this T-34-76 was filmed taking part in a training exercise in North Korea. And probably some still serve with the worker peasant Red Guards paramilitary militia that backs up the regular armed forces. These old tanks certainly look immaculate when trundled out for military parades in Pyongyang. Many thanks for watching. Please subscribe and share. You can help support both of my channels at PayPal and Patreon. Details in the description box below.
Thank you.